Hey guys, welcome back to the Passing Money Plan. I'm Alex. That's Kirby drinking. <laughs> um, sure. So on this topic, we're going to be talking about credit cards. Uh, Dave Ramsey's favorite. So uh, we're going to be talking about, I guess, what they should be utilized for, kind of not utilize them. Um, a lot of people seem to think that a credit card is a additional form of an emergency fund or savings or something like that. So what are your thoughts, Kirby, on credit cards? All right. So credit just to. Uh, on who? Do you use credit cards? I should ask that. Too. Oh, OK. All right. So a caveat to that, I'll, I'll, a simple answer. I've got a simple answer. Do I use them? Uh, simple answer. Yes. Um, but the the call out here that I'm trying to convey is credit cards is a necessary evil. And what I mean by that, a necessary evil, I'm not saying that everybody should have credit cards. I think most of the most of the world for most people in the United States are absolutely terrible, absolutely terrible at managing credit card debt. Clearly right now we're at the all-time high of credit card debt in family households. All-time high. And I mean we just came off of PPP loans, stimulus checks, and everything else. And people still spent all that money, work money, enhanced unemployment money, and still broke the record for most household debt on credit cards. Now, what I mean by a necessary evil is I'm looking at it more for liability protection. So, I mean, yes, of course, you can have met, you can have the, you know, the envelopes, the Dave Ramsey envelopes, and you can go pay cash. For efficiency, and I'm just speaking about my family, for efficiency in my life and to avoid the liabilities, we put 100% of everything on credit card. We don't give vendors, service providers, anything access to our bank account, i.e. using a debit card. The reason being is because, I mean, and this happened to me millions of times, is I swipe my card and then, you know, some credit card scanner or something like that on a car scanner, they start taking money out of my account. Of course, I have a good bank. So the bank will, you know, send me an alert. And then they, you know, within 24, 48 hours, they'll put the money back in. But good thing that I have money in that account, because what if I have other bills that's coming through? Other bills coming through and the, you know, the thieves took the money. So that means another bill's crashed, another bill's uh, late, another bill defaults, another bill defaults, and then it tear up your credit score. So what we do is we just pivoted to, okay, we put everything here. We put everything on a credit card, gas, you know, groceries and all that. And then as soon as the money amount shows up on the card, you know, we, we're not like fancy savants. So, oh, pay it by the statement date and due date. <laughs> no, wait up. Damn it. So as soon as it shows up on the card, so let's say I swipe it today and it shows up that this is the money that was spent and it gives me the opportunity to pay it. We pay off the whole balance the next day, but it eliminates the liabilities in my life. Um, I've, I've been in Virginia one time and I swiped my card at a Kohl's. I'm sorry I'm calling out Kohl's, but it wasn't Kohl's fault. I don't believe it was just some savvy guy, but I was in Kohl's. I swiped my debit card and then the next day I flew out to Dubai and then when I landed there, somebody spent twenty thousand dollars in the apple store so they took the money out of my account yeah so that's that's the reason why i don't use debit cards at all but what you got alex i uh have not had money stolen uh that way um but i have um heard of stories like that you know people getting money stolen and it makes sense and i hear um, especially a lot of, I don't even know their names, but, um, like say on the YouTube shorts or whatever, there's, uh, guys in business that talk about using a credit card for the liability reason, like you're explaining. Right. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of people see it as like, oh, we can, like a lot of people have like credit card bills, like every month, right. you know, this right. much goes to this car, this goes to this card. And, and it's like, that's just taking your income, you know, out of your check. Like if you pay that off, then you'll keep all that extra money that you're making. 
and um people i also see people say like use credit cards for like emergency so they have no cash saved or nothing for an emergency and they'll just use a credit card but they can they can't even afford that emergency to begin with so it puts them more in debt and i think the best way to utilize it is the way you just explained if you're going to use it then pay it off as soon as the balance shows um i i do know someone that kind of i guess hacked the system he had a credit card with five percent cash back he was buying uh this was kind of cool he was buying like coin dollars for the exact exchange rate and then cashing them in and collecting the five percent cash back points <laughs> so so it was yeah, like yeah, I mean, yeah it's it's people that have the you know they have it's fancy ways that people want to know and i'll just share it here if people want to know people say oh i need credit because i already know it's gonna be somebody who's savvy with the credit card they're gonna say oh well i use a credit card to increase my credit score and so for people that don't know there's a matrix that you know the credit bureaus look at when they're deciding if your credit score is going to go up and down it's the utilization rate uh that you use on the credit card so if your utilization rate every month is between zero and ten percent that will give you up that your credit total if you between zero and ten percent of your credit total or and that's the utilization rate throughout the year then your credit score will go up but if you got a $500 credit card balance or let's just say that's the max amount on your credit card and then you're you're up there at $500 or $499 every month what that's so that's a 99% utilization rate your credit score is going to go down even though if you're making the minimum payments because you're utilizing too much of the available credit that you have. And Alex, to your point about people using the credit card for emergency, the reason why you gotta use you gotta use the credit card for emergency is because you don't have any money saved. So you're spending all your money week in, week out, going through the rent race, living paycheck to paycheck. So if you swipe that credit card for an emergency, where are you gonna get the money to pay off the credit card? Because you're already living paycheck to paycheck anyway. Yeah. So you shouldn't be sitting there holding on thinking that, oh, this is an emergency. What you need to do is fight against life creep, lower your expenses or increase your income and then have that money set aside. You know, I mean, of course, it could be an unforeseen thing if you got maybe five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 sitting in an emergency fund and then it's a $20,000 uh, catastrophic event that happened to your life. And then, of course, you swipe the card so then you got to pay the 5000 but you've already been saving up. So you already have that gap to keep paying the card. I mean, but it, emergency is not, hey, the pizza man coming and I don't have no money, so let me go swipe this card right quick. That's not an emergency. I mean, and I see it all the time. People swipe, 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 don't have not a dollar to their name and don't have no money coming down the line because they probably make $1,000 a week or $1,000 every two weeks, but just their life needs a thousand dollars or more a month so they don't even have the extra money to even pay off their credit card and that's the thing that people need to understand credit cards can be good for only about 10 percent of the people because the other 90 percent of people are going to do the wrong thing with the card and then they're going to put themselves in a bad way so that's my view on it. yeah um a credit card i think is a very emotional object people oh, yeah get how much they're spending and it's like yeah. no talk to them and they just you know oh i can pay later that kind that mindset which we actually yeah. saw that not to get off topic but we saw the downfall for the companies that you know had that uh buy now pay later um idea right. you know yeah. people they thought that later. yeah they thought that oh yeah people gonna pay yeah well, Wait, you, they, thought, they, you said buy now pay never <laughs> yeah but that's, that's what's gonna happen and and that's the that's the whole attitude that people need to understand of what's going on and how how this game works. A credit card, like I said, and that's why Dave Ramsey's envelopes make make the most sense. Is hey, this is how much money I have. When the money's gone, then I don't have any money. And of course, there's going to be people in the comments saying, "Oh well, well, you need credit cards for this. You need credit cards for that." I know that. But 
there's a reason why we at record household credit card debt right now. If the majority was smart, then we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But the truth is, majority are not smart with credit cards. That's why we have this conversation. Mm -hmm. So you got to understand the dynamics and how that all flows. But credit cards, I like I said, I only use them for to protect against liabilities. That's it. I don't use it for, oh, there's so many points I can get. I don't use it for the hack of, oh, if I use a state, if I uh, if I swipe something, then I, I pay it before the uh, statement balance date or the due date. I don't do that to increase my credit score. I do none of the fancy tricks like that. But the reason why I use it is just to protect other liabilities. Because, of course, if if I'm using my debit card and it's just attached to a checking account, and I say I have $500 in the checking account. Somebody had, and this happened to me also, I swiped to get gas. Next thing you know, everybody on I-4 corridor getting gas on my car. <laughs> so I just happened to look the next day and I'm looking like $300 for, I mean, like, you know, $75 for gas here. This And I, I wasn't even, when I swiped the card, I was nowhere near that location. And I just seeing, you know, gas station swipes, gas station swipes. And you know me, I don't drive. So I knew I wasn't in... Uh, I wasn't in Daytona, Florida because I ain't even drove that far. I ain't never seen that part. <laughs> so, and then so with that, so now the money's coming out of the car, and then I'm calling. So if it's the first of the month and this happens, and then I got utility bills, cell phone bills, mortgage payments for to come out of that account, those those payments are going to default. The check is going to bounce, or the direct debit is going to bounce, and they're going to say. No money. And then those things are going to show up on my credit report only because somebody had me. So I just use it to eliminate the liability of having somebody have access to my personal checking, personal savings accounts, and things like that. Then I do the same thing in business also. Yeah. Well, with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, if you have a comment, let us know down below. But hit the like button, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.